All right, well, safe to say 2020 and the pandemic have been miserable for everyone. Now, in spite of all of the negative, the pandemic has created opportunities that, uh, if we learn from them, could produce benefits long after it's over. Dr. Frank B. George here with uh, some more of the silver linings here. Frank? Yeah, Kim and Devin, you know, COVID-19 has created a global natural experiment that would be impossible to do in any normal situation. It gives us insight into how we relate to our world when our behaviors are suddenly changed. What would happen to global carbon dioxide emissions if people drove less, flew less, and used less power? Because of COVID-19, we know. Around the world, environmentally harmful carbon dioxide emissions dropped by a startling 8.8%, the most it has ever fallen in history, even compared to the Great Depression, World War II, or the financial crisis of 2008. A global consortium of researchers documented it in the journal Nature Communications. You can see on this graph how much it dropped compared to last year, with the biggest fall at the beginning of April during the height of the global lockdown. 40% of the drop was from a decrease in ground transport, cars, trucks, and so on. Lower power plant emissions were responsible for 22%. Idle industry added 18%. And the drop in global and domestic aviation cut CO2 emissions another 13%. Now, because we can't limit human activity the way the pandemic did, going forward, changes in energy production and use will be needed to reach emission targets. From air pollution to sound pollution, a study from the University of Michigan looking at noise exposure data from volunteer Apple Watch users in Florida, New York, California, and Texas found, with more social distancing, the average sound levels people were exposed to dropped by three decibels, reducing the risk of noise-induced hearing loss and potentially other harmful health effects of excess sound. Now, I'm sure in time there will be even more studies published on the effect uh, that this has had on the very fabric of our daily lives. There are, frankly, a lot of important lessons if we listen. I think that's so true. But uh, what about some other, other things that people have noticed? We, we've talked a lot about uh, traffic and, and crime, too. Yeah, you know, the lockdown definitely changed both crime and traffic patterns. Unfortunately, both have actually seen some rebound. In fact, there was just a paper published um, that scientifically or specifically addressed crime. And their feeling was that, in their words, crime was resilient, yeah. meaning the patterns may yeah. change temporarily, but they just never disappear, unfortunately. Uh, one place we hate to see resilience. Exactly right. Yeah, all right, Doc.